Hey, good morning. Can you make an iced caramel macchiato with the blonde espresso? Okay, yeah, what size? Let me get that as a venti, please. Okay, and what else for you? That'll be all. It's gonna be five cents each, yeah. Thank you. I knew they could make it. We ain't never gonna quit. We ain't never gonna quit it, boy. Hey, welcome to the Showstopper Shows. I'm the Showstopper, and as you saw from my drive through order intro, that I just got the new blonde espresso added to my iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks, and I could not be more excited to try this. So I've basically done a comparison of the original dark espresso as opposed to the blonde espresso. The blonde espresso is smoother, that's what they call it, is smoother, that it has less of a bite to it than the dark espresso, yet, yet it has about the same amount of caffeine in it. Also, you have to, you wouldn't have to add as much sugar or add as much cream, that kind of thing into your drink because of the fact it has more, uh, it has less caffeine and less of a bite to it. In doing some of my research, one of the websites I read even said that it had a bit of a citrus flavor to it. Guys, I gotta tell you this, I'm ready to try this. This has, when I look up the nutrition information, the venti here has 42 grams of sugar, has 150 milligrams of caffeine. So that's what I'm expecting from this as usual. But as you could also see right there from the close up, it says venti iced blonde caramel macchiato. I'm so excited about this. I had to just get into it a little bit more than normal talk about it a little bit more than normal it still has my vanilla it still has my milk it still has my espresso it still has the ice and it still has the caramel the espresso is now blonde let's go ahead and try this guys as i raise the glasses for the masses and i've done so many starbucks videos the playlist is getting excessive we keep bringing them out starbucks and i'll keep rolling them out too Oh, immediately I noticed a difference. The thing I've always liked about an iced caramel macchiato is yes, I'm getting the espresso. Yes, it's strong. Yes, it has a kick and a bite to it. And even though I'll add, you have all this in here, the caramel, the milk, the vanilla, the ice even, it still has a kick. After I take a drink of this, it still tastes that strong macchiato flavor. There's no afterbite. There's no kick to it at the end. There's no none of that, whoa. I like it a lot. That is it has a completely different feel to it. Let me try it again. Yes, that's really, really nice. And there it is, there's no aftertaste. That is so, I wanted to say swell. Now, something I did notice when I first get it, I always smell the espresso, pungent flavor of espresso, and it's an amazing smell to me, and I love it. This had that smell a little bit, not as strong, but it still reminded me of an espresso pun uh, punchy smell. This, though, does not have that, that afterbite, that burn, and that is perplexing and amazing to me at the same time. I cannot believe that. Now, I always like to kind of stir it up and get it all mixed in together, basically, because I don't want to drink to the bottom and then have a, you know, a big old thing of caramel sitting at the bottom, which always is a little bit of that caramel swirl, caramel syrup. But oh my goodness, that tastes really good. Starbucks, that's an amazing thing. And, and here, let me give you some more information on this. This is not a limited time item. This is not something that they're saying, okay, we're gonna have this for now and change it later. This is a permanent addition to their lineup. And this is gonna stay that way. So you say, then what's the reason I would ever go with the other espresso? Well, first off, with the other espresso, you're gonna get a stronger flavor. If you like a little bit more of something to make your eyes open in the morning, then you're gonna to wanna to go with that. But you're still gonna have the same caffeine effect, if not more, with the blonde espresso. So it's pick which one you prefer. And now you have an option. I cannot believe that I didn't I never thought there would be like a different version of espresso to pick from when you go somewhere. Now I'm waiting to see who else follows in this trend, but I'm pretty excited about this. And I love the hot caramel macchiato, which is probably my all-time favorite coffee drink of all time from there. But I also like the iced caramel macchiato, and you can taste a little bit more. You can drink it faster, you can taste it more since it's cold. There's no strong bite with this one like you get from the normal macchiatos. So that's something to consider. If you've never liked these, or you're like, I don't want espresso, 
Now, you may change your mind. Now, I recommend give this one more try. If you've, if you've been on the fence, try this out. You're gonna like it just a little bit more than you ever thought you would. All right, so let me give you my rating of this drink. It's gonna be pretty simple, guys. That's a 98 for me. I'm gonna give that a 98. That is a showstopper sizzle from the Showstopper Mobile. That is an amazing beverage right there. That may be one of my top favorite drinks right now that I've ever tasted, ever. So it's that good. So keep watching the Showstopper shows, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helped you out if you're thinking about getting the Blonde Espresso. And this was fun. I feel like a whole new world has been opened up to me today. May the force be with you. May his presence be with you. I always put a bow on this video because that is a wrap. And I'm going to fish the rest of this. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna sit here and I almost feel like I'm indulging, but I'm not. It's just just a good espresso drink. Oh, yeah, it's good. Never quit, y'all. We ain't never gonna quit it. Never.